hashtag as always is Power Talk Show. My name is Ram Maguko. If you've just joined us, this morning is all about love and trust in life. Is it possible to build it? When trust is broken, can it be built? When you lose uh, a, a love in your marriage, when you start feeling that, you know, I don't think my, pastor, my, my partner loves me anymore, does it mean that there is a problem? I'm with Pastor Shadrach Mangera uh, today, a pastor from, uh, the senior pastor of Calvary, Calvary Covenant Center in Kamulu. Oh. Now, we had asked you to send us your thoughts in regards to this uh, uh, conversation. We shall sample them up in a few. But before that... Take a look at this. All right, that clip is coming up in a bit. Uh, there's, uh, uh, in a bit, remember to be part of this conversation. Um, seeing so many co comments coming through on our Twitter handle uh, that are coming up. Remember, the hashtag as always is uh, uh, the, the, the uh, Power Talk KE uh, on Twitter at Ramaguko at Y254 channel. Let me just sample a few of your tweets before we head over to those clips. I'm seeing uh, Charles and Asuma, a very interesting conversation on love and marriage. Without uh, trust and love, nothing can be built. Thank you very much, Charles. I'm seeing Murkomen is saying, uh, Good morning. We're loving the conversation, watching you from Langata. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing DM, and I'm watching you from uh, Kawangware. I'm seeing Mudeki, and I'm loving the show, enjoying it. Thank you very much, uh, Mudeki. Uh -huh. I'm seeing Queen is saying, uh, interesting conversation with Pastor Shadrach. I wish to uh, enter into marriage, but I do not know uh, what to look out for in a man. Men cheat nowadays. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm seeing Jared and Asema uh, mm. loving the conversation. Thank you very much, Jared. J Jared, uh, keep sending in your comments as we continue with this conversation this morning. Love and trust in marriage coming up in a bit. We, Shadrach, you can you will comment on that. Right. People say men cheat. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if 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 that's a a, a comment that we should ride upon. You'll give a, your comment on that. <laughs> yes, now, yes, yes. Uh, I don't know, um, Hemson, I'm, uh, uh, Ron, I don't know if is, is that clip ready. Is it ready? Okay, all right. Let's pull up that clip. Watch this, and hopefully you can learn something from it. Yeah, no worries. It'd be nice just to go out for a coffee or something. Cool, I'm just going to pop to the bathroom and be back in a sec, all right? All right. through my phone for a start. Because you're texting someone else. I'm asking you, who are you texting? It could be anyone. Well, you, uh, there's nothing going on. What you, uh, why are you looking through my phone? Right, so are you going to tell me who she is, or...? There's nothing going on. Just, uh, what, are you, what are you talking about? What kind of a relationship is this, and you don't need to tell me? Uh, are you being serious right now? Well, yeah. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Enjoy your tea. Jay. Yeah, she she thinks I'm chatting to other girls. I think James is talking to someone else. No, well, no, there's literally nothing going on, that's the thing. I think he really likes talking to her. I mean, we were out and he was still texting her. It's just a friend at work. I just hope it's not got too far. All right, just, just something that you can be able to, you know, get to understand from that. When people do not trust each other, lazima mm angole kwasimu. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> touch on that as yeah. you comment on what one of our viewers has said that mm. men cheat. Mm. Let's touch first of all on this issue of mm. checking your partner's phone. Does mm -hmm. it mean that every time you check your partner's phone that mm. you don't trust each other? You know, uh, this issue is so rampant mm. everywhere among us couples either they're dating or they're in marriage, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. They always like suspect there must be something in this phone mm -hmm. that uh, somebody is hiding from me. Yeah. You know, uh, and uh, this is a big issue. And that's why we, hey, somebody said nowadays we have only private phones. You know, mm -hmm. you know that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so everybody, uh, you can find somebody who's got like six passwords on the, on the phone. Okay, <laughs> simply because they want Adi, to. Yeah, 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 face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Special recognition. Yeah, special recognition, the, the finger, and everything. Mm. But this boils down to that point that I said mm. communication. If communication has been there from the beginning, like we say, this is how we use our gadgets, things like that, then we also begin to trust your wife or your spouse with their phones. You don't wait until they are, they are out and then you check them. Why can't you just pick it then if you want to check while they are there? You check. But no. But, but, okay, but, go on. When it comes to sharing of passwords, yes, is yes. That, or can that build trust? Okay, so you say that <laughs> if, if, if you want to trust me, mm -hmm. if I want to trust you, then yeah. um, for me to trust you mm -hmm. as my partner, mm -hmm. give me your pa the password to your phone, mm -hmm. the password to your social media accounts, mm -hmm. and the password to your bank uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and all codes to your mm -hmm. even bank account details. I think that one is doing trust. In fact, uh, I think that one shows that there is a lot of distrust. Because passwords, I believe, they're just supposed to protect your content from outsiders. Mm -hmm. That's what I believe. Yeah. Okay, and then when it is demanded as a way of building trust, mm. then I, I don't think there's a solid ground to build on trust. Still will not solve trust. No, it won't solve it because mm. at the end of the day, you'll get that password and then you'll find something that maybe there was a conversation going on there. Mm -hmm. You've not read the context of the, con context of the conversation. Mm -hmm. Then you come up with, with your own conclusion. You jump into conclusions. That's you understand? Right, that's right. So mm -hmm. I believe uh, password could just be shared out for convenience purposes. For example, mm -hmm. uh, like for example, if you have your passwords for your phones and things like that, in the event maybe you you are incapacitated, you are sick, you know, somebody may need to have that password to help you maybe get some medication or do some payment. Mm -hmm. Then that would be good. Mm -hmm. That's why we say you share it with, you, with your next of kin. Okay? okay, not for trust purpose, mm -hmm. but for convenience and security. Only that. You secure your data and everything from outsiders and convenience to your family. Now, in case you suspect yeah. there's a problem, yes, snooping around the phone, mm -hmm. is it recommended? Uh, that, <laughs> <laughs> that, has a, that has brought a lot of problems, yeah. a lot of problems, uh, because uh, you may discover things that, uh, that are in that phone that you really didn't need to, to, to know. To know. Mm, mm, okay? Mm. As I said, sometimes maybe somebody has, has inadvertently sent something on your phone, maybe it was on WhatsApp, a picture. Mm. Yeah. It was not meant for you. It was meant for somebody else. By mistake. By mistake. It comes there. Bibi then an owner. <laughs> Sasa in a corner. Sasa suna owner. Now you see. <laughs> you understand? Now, so it becomes a problem. Yeah. Should, should couples refrain from checking each other's phones? I think uh, uh, phones have brought a lot of problems. Uh, I, I suggest, I, I strongly suggest that uh, let phones just be, be free, be available there mm -hmm. without being too much heated. You know, there's sometimes I, I've, I've heard I've, and I've talked to people, uh, even counseling them, you know, because they had issues with phone. You know, they have to go with their phone to the, to the washroom, to the bathroom and everywhere. Mm -hmm. And one of them went with it. And it fell into <laughs> an iPhone, <laughs> into the toilet. Ah. So you can imagine, <laughs> because they're trying to guard so much. So if you know you're not doing anything wrong, then don't, don't, be, don't, don't, be, don't be guilty. Yeah, don't, huh? be, don't be afraid. I remember this, uh, this, this <laughs> verse. I also read the Bible. There's a verse in the, in the Bible that says the guilty run even when no one is chasing them. Exactly, exactly. When you come to... Uh, a marriage setting, yes. and you have people who say mm. that all men cheat. Okay, all men cheat. You know that one breaks trust. Yeah, that uh, and, and and that is uh, I think it's uh, something that has just been generalized mm. that all men cheat. It's not true. Mm. Uh, we have men who really love their wives, who trust their wives, 
and who care for their wives, who care for their families, who really honor marriage. Because the Bible says, let everyone who gets into marriage honor marriage mm -hmm. and honor that mm -hmm. bed. That's you know? right, that's right. Uh, and that is a command from the Lord. And also uh, uh, in Ephesians chapter number 5, uh, the Bible says that let husbands love their wives mm -hmm. just as Christ loved the church. Mm -hmm. You see, when, when you love, you'll not be able to cheat because love is a great commandment. Mm. Because when you love, you think about your spouse. What will happen to their psychological lives? Uh -huh. What will happen to the relationship you have? What about your children? How are they going to look at you as a father mm -hmm. who's a cheater, you know, or who cheats over the, on their mother? Okay. Mm -hmm. Or vice versa, as a mother who cheats on their, on their dad. But, but the bottom line is uh -huh. that when we love like Christ did, then we care even how they will feel. How uh, or what should a man do mm -hmm. to prove mm -hmm. to the wife mm -hmm. that she is loved, mm -hmm. trusted and cared for? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if you bring in efforts, I think uh, you can reach a point and then you get tired. Mm -hmm. I believe it should be, first of all, you as the man, you must have God be the center of your life. Okay, okay. When God is at the center of your life, mm -hmm. then you will value your spouse, you will value their life. Mm. Right? Mm. And then everything else that happens after that is as a response of the life of Christ that is in you, that you'll be able to love them. Therefore, uh, because proving, sometimes you can fake, yeah, just for convenience purposes. You can fake actions. Yes, you can fake. But then, if it's a lifestyle, my friend, there's no uh -huh. need to fake. And, 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 and that's the key word, yes. lifestyle, yes. something consistent. Yes, yes. It's a lifestyle. It's, that's who you are. You love your wife no matter what. And that's what brings us in on the issue of character. You know, character is a huge word. But you know, character is what we are when people are not seeing us. Like, for example, if you travel from here to Kisumu mm. and your wife is here in Nairobi, mm. you're in a hotel there, right? And, uh, and uh, in that place, are you able to maintain the same lifestyle while you are in the presence of your when wife? When no one is watching, yes. when your wife is not there. Yes, that is the question. So character is what is needed today. In interesting. In today's generation. We're talking about love, building love and trust in a marriage. Yes. Now, when it comes to building this love and this, this trust, mm -hmm. should a man have or showcase public affection to the wife, mm -hmm. to publicly recognize that this is my wife, mm -hmm. this is a person that I love, you know, you publicly display your wife, mm -hmm. is that also a solution to building love in your marriage? No, 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 I don't think so, but public uh, a declaration of your wife and mm. uh, or uh, appreciating her publicly it's okay mm. it's all right it's good after all uh, if you love her then uh, she should be the jewel of your heart so you are proud to present her outside there uh, anyhow uh, because uh. that's what you need to do mm -hmm. but then that one can never build love you know love is from within all right because some of these things, you'll do it for the camera, you'll do it for the people. And that's why I've seen people, you know, social media is something that came. Mm. And social media has revolutionized the way we do things. You take a selfie with your, with your wife and you post and you give some very beautiful words there. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. then in the evening, you are hammering her and giving her some clobbers because you have disagreed. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Mm. So here, people on social media... They're really commenting and saying, oh, what a lovely family. Power couple. Beautiful, hey, power couple, <laughs> things like that. <laughs> and, and, and on the other hand, your wife has a black eye. They come and say marriage goals. <laughs> marriage goals are for children. <laughs> you understand? You see yes. people taking fo yes. photos. Uh, say, these are really marriage goals. <laughs> <laughs> you see? So publicity hey. is okay, but it let love come from, it, from the heart. From the heart. Let, let what you speak to each other mm -hmm. in the bedroom when nobody else is seeing, let it be the same life that you live outside. So you should not try to build it publicly before it's built privately. It must start from within. Powerful. And, and then out, this other mm -hmm. comes automatically. It's nothing that you will do. Nothing. On it will show itself. 
it will show itself. Yes. Um, Just like a <laughs> okay. Well, the, uh, <laughs> when I'm, I'm looking at some of your your, your feedback on uh, social media, mm -hmm. I'm seeing uh, Winnie is saying, "Sure, when the trust is gone, nothing holds the relationship." Mm -hmm. Powerful there. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Oruko is saying, "I love the insight from Professor Shadrach." Mm -hmm. You see, people are, are, are enjoying this conversation. The hashtag, as always, is Power Talk Show, mm. show on Twitter mm. at Ramagogo at mm. Y254 channel. I don't know, um, Hemstone, is the, are the clips ready? We can take a look at what people are saying on, um, you know, uh, with the clips that they sent. Remember, we ask our viewers and our supporters to send a one minute clip about what they think on this conversation. If the clips are ready, just let me know and then we can play them, uh, one or two of them. Man, mm. Pastor Shadrach. Yes, yes. I want us to, to touch on one uh, other issue. Mm. Second marriages. Second marriages. When your first marriage broke, mm. is it possible to have love and trust on a second marriage? Can second marriages have the ability mm. to be more successful? <laughs> now you mean uh, that uh, second marriage, you have to define mm -hmm. how you come to that second marriage. Is it uh, after maybe somebody... Your spouse has gone to be the Lord, or uh -huh. is it after divorce? So uh -huh. I think it's uh -huh. good for us to be clear. Uh -huh. Yes. In a, 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 as a whole, which one? Depending. <laughs> on, okay. Le, le, perspectively, let's yeah, start with okay. after divorce. After divorce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course. Uh, now that we know divorce is, is common and people get into second marriages, mm -hmm. you know, if you are not able to sort out the problems that made you to fail in the first marriage then even the second one don't think it will be any different you know okay until the problems are solved and that's why i said we all have backgrounds and when you get into a relationship before you do anything else mm -hmm. you must be able to bring the briefcases and 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 pack everything from from your past from your past both of you mm -hmm. and look at it be open to each other you know yeah, yeah, once yeah. you're open to each other you say this one cannot work, this one cannot work, I don't like this, I like this, these are our differences. But then, how can we use our differences to make it better? So yes, they can work if mm -hmm. you sorted the issues that made the first one to fail. You must have that conversation, yes. no matter how painful it is. It is very critical that you have the conversation. Communication. Communication. Yes. Communication. Yes. Now, um, mm -hmm. If, if, if it's a second marriage after the first marriage mm. was ended due to death, then I think mm. it's still um, something that you can be able to Every, work on well. Everything must be go through the same process. Communication. Communication. <laughs> 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 you know, they said, uh, I was reading something, and they said that uh, um, for you to know whether you are succeeding, you mm. must know what is making you to succeed. Mm. Then you will avoid what will make you to fail. Powerful. Yes. Let's take a look at what people <laughs> have, have, have said on the, the clips. I'm seeing, uh, do we start with the one, someone called Fire Norma? Okay, <laughs> Fire Norma, right. Let's take a look at uh, what you said. Question about love and trust in marriage. My name is Nick. And concerning the question about love and trust in marriage, I don't think that for now there is something we can concretely say that uh, there is love in marriages or or concrete trust like when it was during our forefathers time most of the uh, the things around us like materialism money has taken big part in shaping the kind of marriages that we have nowadays and so for me i don't think that there is a hundred percent um love in marriages i don't believe that there's hundred percent trust in marriages and it, 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 the, the world has been changed um, so much by how um, women have changed how relationships should be handled, how uh, they should be taken care of, and this has changed the whole scenario about love. I am Joyce and I'm happy to talk about today's topic. For me, I feel that marriage will be built on love and trust. Why? because this is a life partner you've chosen to spend the rest of your life with and for me when i hear the word trust i see dependency i see belief and i see safety not only physically but inwardly so if you've chosen a life partner make sure 
your marriage is built on love and trust i believe that love and trust go hand in hand because wherever there is love there is trust and wherever there is trust there is automatically love thank you you, you you've heard what our viewers have said yes, yes comment on that yeah uh, yeah you know there's one viewer who just said that uh marriage is not there's no love or trust 100 percent in marriage 100 yeah and and of course uh, nobody even expects 100 percent but um, but again there must be growth there must be maturity there must be a starting point whereby you say okay we are starting from here and our vision is to bring this marriage to this level mm. so therefore if you are not able to give yourself that benefit that uh, I'm able to build this marriage to, uh, to gradually, as God will help me, mm. then you'll give up. Because if you think now, okay, things are done, no, no, more, no more trust, no more love, so let's just live like animals, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and then you, you won't be able to achieve anything. Uh, grow it, grow it. Then grow I wonder, life. Yes. We, nowadays we have certain mm. interesting kinds of marriages. Mm -hmm. Where people marry mm. for convenience. Yes. Sisi tunaishi pamoja and tutusukume maisha Nairobi. Mm. Yeah. So we stay together. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can have children. Yes. We can have a family. Mm. But we are staying together. Mm -hmm. There is no love. There is no trust. Mm. They are just staying together because mm. they are trying to push life together to pay mm. rent and survive in Nairobi. Yes, we, we have seen all those kind of arrangements. And I don't think that is what God desires. Mm. Because the intention of God was for man uh, to live in a, in a union where they support each other. When you look yeah. at the good scriptures in Genesis 1, uh, 26, 27, mm -hmm. 28, mm. it says, and God uh, said, let us make man in our own image. And so in the image of God, he created them, plural. Mm -hmm. They want them, plural, male and female. Okay? Yeah. And then he goes down and says he gives them power to dominate, to be fruitful, to multiply. Mm -hmm. Okay? As they are as as two of them, right? Mm -hmm. In a union, not in a convenience, which means uh -huh. they uh -huh. must be able to agree this is what we shall be, this shall uh -huh. be our life, and this shall define who we are. A union meaning they are together, together union. not out of convenience. No, no, no. It's not like Powerful. parallel lines. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, we, shall, we, shall, we shall just be going, we won't have anything connecting us, but we are going some direction, mm -hmm. we can mm -hmm. have children, mm -hmm. We can help pay each other's rent, <laughs> but then there is nothing that, that will really connect us because marriage is a union. When couples get to the point that mm. they no longer trust each other completely, mm. Mm. what should they do? I think that's when they, they really need to seek counsel. And uh, when they seek counsel, they can get advice. You know, sometimes when people come into marriage, mm. Uh, they have their own ideas of how marriage should be. Mm. And sometimes they also bring in experiences from other marriages. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And when they try to apply these that, have, uh, that they saw in other marriages, mm. they fail. Mm. So they think marriage does not work. Because they saw another person's marriage not working. Yes. So they believe. It, yeah, it will, it will not work. <laughs> Listen, it is important to seek help. And not only marriage, many, many areas of life we need help. And that's why the scripture says that uh, two are better than one. You know, uh, if, if you are able to talk to uh, somebody, you'll be able to give an advice. Mm. And then by your own heart, mm. you make a decision and, and find out. So don't give up until you seek for help and solution. All right. Yes. Pastor, thank you very much, Pastor Shadrach. Um, I want to give you one minute to yes. speak to Kenyans who are watching you. Mm -hmm. um, your thoughts about how we can have healthy relationships and healthy marriages uh, so that we can be able to build love and trust. I'm giving you one minute to speak to Kenyans. That is your camera. Pale. Uh -huh. Just say, say, say something in a minute. Yes, uh, in, in order for us to continue to build healthy marriages and healthy relationships, it is very important for us to remember that communication is very key because in communication we are able to send out information and receive feedback for the same. Let us build our character, that our character should demonstrate who we are, whether we are with the people or whether we are in, on our own. Let our lifestyle be so, be so keen and to help us develop 
and, and, uh, and even grow love and trust. We must be able to support each other, you know, in that family. Support each other in your dreams, in your desires, in your, uh, in your, in your callings and in everything that you do. Support one another. And also, it's very important to make it a team effort all the time. You know, when we make it a team effort, then we are not competitors, but we are here to help each other. We become partners in, in, in marriage and in relationship. And then lastly, I want you to know that do not let our differences tear mm -hmm. us apart, mm -hmm. but rather let us seek how we can be able to work on our differences and be able to move uh, forward to be able to be, have a successful marriage that has trust, that has love, and it's growing. But above all, I want you to put God first in your marriage and trust him and believe that he's going to take you to the greatest level of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank and you very also much. you're blessed for life. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> that is Pastor Shadrach Mangera <laughs> from uh, uh, Calvary Covenant Center in Kamulu. He's a senior pastor there. Thank you very much, Pastor. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Thank you, Ram, for having me here. Now, as we conclude this conversation, we, I'm glad. I want to appreciate everyone who ensured that this show was a success. Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. This is power talk one person one wise man once said that um, a successful marriage is not with perfect people but one with imperfect people uh, enjoying their imperfection uh, or their imperfectness sure. my name is ram maguko may god bless you and may god bless the work of 